We've made it to the almost promised land. We are a professional team. We're in the Football League. We're in League Two. We're not going to be as comfortable this season as we have been in previous ones. And I never bring you back to see this screen. But I'm going to start the episode with me still on the Football Manager screen. Because our new kits are there. And they're absolutely delicious. And for, for some reason a sponsor from TikTok. Why don't you just cast your eyes on those little beauties? Look at them. Ah, oh, splendid. We are here. Episode 1 of Cadbury's Heroes. I am over the bloody moon. Still getting some transfers in. Mainly because it's August and we're starting the season. And it's not like October or whenever the other ones were. We're, um, as I mentioned, we're not one of the strongest teams in the league now. Which isn't great. We do have a million pound in the bank. And I'll show you why that, uh, or at least part of that, in a minute. Before we jump into anything, I'm going to get it out of the way nice and early, but if you could like or subscribe on this channel, show your support, it would be greatly appreciated. And you can go on this adventure with me while we're making Cadbury, not only the best chocolate brand. Look there, I said it. I, I enjoy a galaxy as much as the next guy, but Cadbury are just, they're just consistent. They just are. All of them are good. I don't know where to start. What I'm going to do. Just because we've technically already had 53 episodes, if I remember rightly. Um, I'm going to run through kind of a blitz of the previous episodes, just in case you're joining now to start. Uh, and I'll show you how the previous ones went. So, our job history. Our first season was in the English Midland Football League Division 1. And we smashed it. That season was literally no staff, so it had me <laughs> as manager of the under-18s and under-23s. I sorted that out quick snap when I had realised I had to sort those uh, games out and play them. So they didn't last long. Um, I'm going to flick over to that league and just show you how it went. We played 36. We won 34. We drew two, which I was livid about. Scoring 138 with points of 104. Conclusive. Battered them. Season two. We were in the English Midland Football League Premier Division. And we smashed it. Of course. You can definitely see a theme running. Um... It just did. We slapped it. We slapped everything. Let's go to that league. Have a little look where that went. 42 played. 36 wins. 4 draws. And 2 losses. That was unacceptable. Lost against Grizzly and Heather. Wasn't happy about that. Scored 146 with 112 points. Again, conclusive. Battered them. We were in the pitching in Ismithian League South East Division. I've probably butchered about 5 words in that. Um, you know what the word is. We smashed it. Of course we did. We'll hop to that league once more. 38 games to this season. 28 of them we won. 6 draws, 4 losses. Including a 6-1 to uh, Horsham. At home, which I wasn't too pleased about. But again, scoring north of 100 goals and uh, an 8-point cushion. Pretty comfortable. Season 4. Pitching in Southern Premier South. Once again, slapped it. We won doubles in all the seasons so far, except uh, our Midland one, because we got knocked out of the cup. Just ignore that. We didn't slap the cup that year. We'll go to the league again. 42 games to this season, of which we won 32, drew 9, and lost only 1, scoring 112, and a 4-1 loss to Western Supermare, who actually got promoted as well with us. So, again, pretty, pretty handy league. Pretty nice. Wasn't really much of a challenge. It was getting a bit tedious at this point. I'm sure you realise why. Season 5. We're up in the Vanarama Leagues at this point. It's getting a bit more challenging. Or so I thought. Of course it wasn't. We slapped it. We got the league. We got a cup. And we got, what, three, four manager of the months and one manager of the year. Absolutely battered that. Let's go and have a look at the league again. I mean, to be honest, I'm not painting an accurate portrayal of that. We did actually scrape through. If I remember rightly, I think Darlington just completely fell apart at the end of the season and we were just there to capitalise. But we scored 100 goals. We won 29 of 42 
and we picked up 94 points in the season. If it wasn't for Darlington, it would have looked and been a hell of a lot more comfortable because we had a 16 point cushion on the team in third place. One more season, and that was uh, the previous one, our most recent season in the Banarama National League. Seeing as though we, I'm going to say scraped, but seeing as though we scraped promotion from the National League North with a win, um, I wasn't expecting anything from this season, so we went into it. Um, we hadn't won the Fat Trophy at that point, so we were kind of focusing more on the trophy and hoping that we got promotion in the league. You can see what happened. We won the league, but this time it was a hell of a lot more comfortable than that Darlington one. We won it with a cushion of five goals. <laughs> considerably more than five goals five points um with carlisle and hartlepool both finishing on a 91 and hartlepool are actually the team that are coming up to the league two with us this season yeah it was it wasn't anywhere near as challenging as the vanarama north which was surprising to me um we were predicted i think ninth or tenth um and we won the league so maybe we don't need to be too stringent on our predictions but pretty pretty good and I'm thinking a pretty accurate and speedy run through of our season. The only thing I will show you is when we hop over to this screen, we've got a few players in our favourite personnel. Um, and I'm going to show them to you. So we had a few strikers from the earlier seasons. He's retired. Oh, that's upsetting. First of which is Jacob Walton. He absolutely battered it. And I can't get you his history notes, which is unfortunate. But he scored, I think, 50 goals in one season and 17 in the other. Um, and we brought him back a few seasons later, as you can see with the dates. Wasn't quite the player we had, but was very good. His strike partner was a gentleman by the name of Cameron Stanley. He scored uh, overall 53 goals in his first season with us, which was uh, the first season. Following season, he picked up 54. The next season, he picked up 59. And then the season after that, he hit his mark and he scored 12. <laughs> kind of, that was his ceiling. Um, we did keep him around. I have only just let him go because he just wasn't getting game time and he wasn't even being paid. So I've just kind of waved him off. Um, but he was one of our legends, along with us, Willy Wonka. Obviously, chocolate. They brought him in. He knows how to man manage. Just most of the people that he manages are small and orange and quite insensitive to people dying, if, if we're honest. It's what happens. We've got Jamie Soul. He's still with us. I'll show him you in a minute. Uh, after Cameron Stanley decided to forget how to start scoring, we brought in Siobonga Legenza. Um, he picked up in the Vanarama. Sorry, pitching in, sorry. Um... Did half a season with us, scored 19 goals and 21 starts, 21 games, sorry, very good. Pitched in with a bunch of goals in the uh, Vanarama as well, and then again, he kind of hit his ceiling and didn't play. I binned him off. And we've had Casper Laparta, who is still with us, very handy centre-back. He's been with us since the pitching in. Um, he's been doing pretty well, pretty solid stats, and he's definitely going to get some game time throughout the uh, League 2, but I don't think he's going to be one of our main centre-backs. The other player alluded to was Jamie Sol, who's the final player here. He is an icon at the club. Um, Three-star current potential still, four and a half... Um, I always say current potential, current ability. Four and a half potential. He can improve by a slight amount, which is worryingly vague. So we'll see how much of him we see, if we know what I mean. But he came in Vanarama North, scoring 42 from 44, propelling us to that uh, title win. Following season, he played in Vanarama National with us, scored 33 from 40, um, again, taking us to the title win. We did bring in another striker that was helping along that as well. So it's it's been it's been a fun journey so far. It has. And if you want it, there's a playlist on my channel. Go back and watch it. You'll be... Mildly entertained. This season, we are in Skybet League 2. I've said it a few times. I'm pretty happy. I just I just am. I'm a happy boy. If we jump at the season preview, it's not looking great. It isn't. We're 201 to win the league. 201, sorry. Um, and we're, we're one of the favourites to get relegated. There's no beating around the bush there. 
It's, it is what it is. We're not going to let it happen, but they think it will. So get in the bin. The board themselves are expecting from us to avoid a relegation battle. Now that's more like it. That I can get on board with. I'll show you our release players firstly. Um, just for people that have been watching and be aware. There's only three names here that I'm particularly fussed about. Um, Harry Birthwistle was a right back that played quite a few games for us. Singaporean. Um, he was pretty handy in the lower leagues. Didn't really play for us much from the Van Rama, I think, to be honest. Earring, decent, decent midfielder. Didn't really do much. Stephen Bromley. I'm upset to see him go, but he was having absolutely none of signing a new contract. So I'll offer him on trial. See if he fancies it now. But he might get in the game should we manage to sign him. And as we said earlier, Cameron Stanley. Um, I did let him go. He's played 128 for us in the league. Scored 127. But he's... Um, yeah, he's not what he used to be, and he can at least go and find a team and get some uh, get some games under him. I'm over here now. Signings and sales. I'll do sales first. Um, well, sale. We sold Billy Mitchell. That's a complete lie. We've loaned Billy Mitchell out. I know, it's fantastic. It's, it's, it's not the guy from EastEnders, but... I think that's half the reason why I bought him. He's not even that good. Um, but Omar Dodds. He's the striker I alluded to earlier when I says that um, someone pushed Sol out of the team. He came into us from Chelsea on a free transfer. Um, did all right for us. I mean, I wasn't particularly impressed, but his stats were all right. But Bristol have come into us and says, do you know what, lad? We'll offer you, if I can click on his name, a bag of money. Several bags, 400 of which, actually. Um... And I says, what about, you give me 50% of his next sale as well. And they were like, yes. So we've got a handful of money come in and 50% of his next sale, which I expect will be at least something. <laughs> um, transfers in, which hop back onto the other one. And we're going to go first with Micah Beareth. He's our replacement for Dodds. May not be as good, but he's still good and free. So... It's cheaper than 400 grand. And uh, you've, you've noticed it. You probably saw his name earlier. John Joe Shelby. I mean, some people have said that he looks like Voldemort. I don't personally see it, but it's, it's, it's I don't know. I'm not, I'm not one to criticise people's looks that much realistically. But he's coming in. Deep line playmaker. Look at those mental stats. Look at the technical stats. Don't look at the physical stats. Ignore them. He's going he's gonna to be helpful for us. To say the least, he's played in the Premier League for many, many years and randomly has been at Duisburg and Union Berlin. I can tell you why. I suppose, after all that nattering, you want to see a game? We've got our first of the season. It's against Oldham, who are predicted, if we hop back to our little screen, in, I can't find, eighth. So it's definitely going to be a challenge for us. And I suppose the only thing we can do is run at it head first. We're going in to our opening game of a professional stature, I suppose, stature. Why not? With Hubert Grashik in goal. I've had to hover over it. It is Hubert. Um, James Clark, Harry Taylor, Stevenson and McBride across the back four. Brady and Durkin out wide with Shelby and Burgess in the middle. And then Beareth is supporting Jamie Soul as the uh, strike partner. Teams uh, are lining up, walking out for the first time as a professional club. Beautiful to see. Candlish, hell of a name, launches it out for them. Taylor nods it out to Durkin for us on our left hand side. He is an inverted winger, so is he going to try and invert it? No, he's just going to let McBride do all the work for him. Back to Shelby, brilliant ball in. Oh, but Soul wasn't able to get onto it. Uh, it does allow them to break, and they've got a man open on the right-hand side. Gets it through to Spyro. And a decent tackle, and Grashik made me incredibly nervous with that save. I'm intrigued to see who's going to score our first professional goal. Um, I'm hoping it's in this episode. Be a little bit of a dud if it's not. <laughs> bit of a bit disappointing. Uh, Spyro's got the ball again for them. Puts it outside to his left-hand side to Smith. Uh, and our right-back is asleep, I think. But uh, fortunately, the winger's done their usual trick. A smashing into side name. We're not having a fantastic game. Let's be honest. Uh, we've had two shots. They've had six. 
We haven't seen much of the ball in their uh, third at all. But see if we can put something to that. Brilliant ball out from Shelby. McBride on the left side. Good ball in, but uh, wasn't able to get to it. Spyro's on it again for them. Um, he's got a few people around him, but no one appears to be trying to help. And he, he wasn't fancying it anyway. Just had a pop. Corner. Smith to take it for them on their right side. And uh, Onyango has just... I mean, he's made, my, he's made my defense look like children, hasn't he? If we're being realistic, uh, there was at least four players there. And um, he's just ran around and headed it above them all. That's... Do you know what? Splendid work from my man on the line. Can't, can't criticize him. Not one bit. I'm dropping us to balanced. I don't want to get bullied. Sol puts it towards the back post. McBride picks it up again. Uh, he's fantastic. He's my favorite player. Oh! That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Our first goal of professional football. <laughs> I couldn't think of a more apt goal for us to score. <laughs> Good ball out from Sol. McBride picks it up. Good ball back in from him. Brady does well to get ahead on it. And the goalie tries to fist it out. I just, I don't know what he's playing at. But I'm, I'm over the moon. I'd have my shirt over my head swinging around if it wasn't for the fact that I'd, uh, do you know what? Nothing would happen because that little people watch me at the moment. I could do it, but I also don't want to because no one needs to see that. Our mum's offside then. Yeah, it's a good finish, but it was offside. It's almost half time. It's 1-1. Um, it's also not half time because we've now got a highlight with a minute and a bit left. I'm very nervous from this. Um, I'll get to see what happens. Nilsson puts it out to their left side. Our right back to sleep again, and Smith, Smith smashed it over. And they called him Smish. It's half time though. We've still got the old blooming scale in a sheer front of a building to put a flag on it. I don't know why um, the designers felt the need to just not do that, but it's cool. Shelby with a corner to the on the right hand side. Oh, Stevenson's beat on Yango. You're not so big now, are you, lad? Get out of here. It's 2 1. We're winning. I'm not going to mention that it... Do you know what I am? It's our first ever professional game. <laughs> and we're winning it. Ah, oh, splendid. I need to see how tall that Anyango is. He looks like an absolute mountain. Just coming up to the hour mark. Um, I think I probably will look at making a substitution. But who is uh, is the main issue? Shelby's looking a little bit tired, but we'll leave him to it. Um, Burgess can come on for his ass and we'll make Shelby the box to box. Because that's what he needs when he's got little to no physical stats. Make him run around a lot. It's definitely not going to finish him off, is it? Um, mm, Clark's not playing well, but he's fit. Just let him carry on running. Do you know what? Get off. I'm not letting you run around. Because you've been an absolute clown. We'll leave that. We've got one more sub. It's a corner for them on their right side. Smith well, takes it, but Taylor heads it straight out. We've got Sol and Beareth running through. I mean, Beareth did literally nothing there. He didn't even do the old supporting striker run where you drag the defender. He just stood there, did absolutely nothing. Anyango's won the head duel. That's not, that's not a word. The, I don't even, head duel, that's not a word. Right, I'm gonna find out how tall Anyango is now because I've upset myself with the word head duel. Right, he is six foot four. He is an absolute machine. Still didn't win the header though, did he? We're coming in to the last 10 minutes. We've got another corner, which I'm pretty sure their player chested away, which is quite impressive from him. Uh, Azaz, Taylor on the edge of the area, Shaw. Um, if you have been watching, you know I like to go proper sweaty, um, and I think I'm gonna do that. As soon as this highlight finishes, if they haven't scored, I'm gonna just lock this game down. But McBride smashes it forward to uh, no one, which is helpful. Candlish does likewise, and it goes to our player. Shelby's booked, which I'm sure comes as a surprise to literally nobody. Soul is in the area. Beareth, oh, and he's dragged it just wide. There is exactly 10 minutes left. So what we're gonna do is knock this down, knock that down, take the pass into space off and run at defense, go disciplined. Uh, we'll take those two off, we'll slow the pace down and just smash it over the top. And we're going to drop our defence down slightly. And we're just going to sit there and just watch the clock tick down. Because why wouldn't we have got a highlight immediately? Shelby with the corner. 
Right, it's into Stevenson now. You ready? Here he is. No. No, he's not. As us, though. Oh, I thought he was going to have a pop. But here it has. What a finish. He's 3 1. Who needs him? We're getting promoted again. We're going to win the bloody league. Might be getting a tag carried away. But I mean, decent cross. Stevenson did actually win that header. I thought that was um, a clearance from them, but Stevenson headed it back to us as from the training ground. That was. I told them to do that. It's, it's, it's an attack for us again. We've gone balanced. We're the ones that are supposed to be defending this lead. And my players are like, do you know what, boss? I'm not feeling that. We're just going to carry on scoring. How do you feel about that? I took us to cautious, and there's five minutes left. See, now this is what we like to say. Just the clock, just absolutely smashing it down. Grashik, as he's done like a leap of faith from I mean, Assassin's Creed to get that. What a guy. He's going to smash this forward now after he stands and walks around in the area for about ten minutes. Brady? What are you going to do here? Are you going to go inside? No! No, he's going to stand there and uh, let their player tackle him, which is nice. Sals, Oh, good save from Grashik and Spyro's picked it up. Back into Clark for them and Grashik makes the save. We also had our centre-back on the line. Getting ready to head that way. It's done! Come on, ref, just blow the whistle. We'll all go home early. I'll even buy you a hot dog. Come on. That was ambitious, to say the least. It's done. Come on, ref. Oh, it's done. We've won our first bloody game. Who needs them? You can't even see their shots on here. Mainly because it's in purple. And it's in a dark, blooming grey colour. Because that's a fantastic idea. Wouldn't we think the game could have put, like, an outline of a bright colour? Just to make sure it actually shows. It's not for me to say. Ignore just said it. You know what? Final treat, just before we go. We'll have the Papa John's trophy draw. Why the hell not? I mean, realistically, I'm probably only going to start showing this if we get quite far into it. But we all have a draw. We do. We all do. So what have we got? First seeds and second seeds. I mean, to be honest, I'd like to pick up Villa under 23s just because, like, why not? And other than that, I literally couldn't care. Walsall, because they're our um, senior club. Let's find out. South End. I mean, I used to do saves with them probably about 10, 11 years ago when they had um, Gary Hooper. So, there's a bit of useless trivia for you as well. Who are we going to get? Who are we going to get? Stevenage. Yay. Right, okay. This is actually the one that I kind of very slightly care about. So who are Villa getting? Oh, no, never mind. I don't care anymore. Chelsea. Woo! What a draw! Oh, we're in for it now. What a win. We're going to come back for Gillingham and Wigan. Um, I was thinking Salford, but I'll do them later in the season. Because you've got the whole class of 92 that you can slap in the thumb now. Happy days. We're going to go with Gillingham and Wigan. Um, I mean, Gillingham are probably a team roughly on our calibre. Wigan, I expect, to considerably better than us. Um, so it'd be good to have those two different types of teams. Um, I'm not going to follow the Papa John's trophy. I just don't care. I might do the um, Chelsea game, though. Put it with Wrexham. That might be a good episode. We'll see what happens. If you have enjoyed that, give me a like, subscribe, flick the bell. And thank you very much for your time.